Let's take a look at our time-based conditions with inside of Mosaic. The first one is real-time. This is very similar to the real-time trigger, although it adds in the concept of after, before, or equal. This is very similar to how we were working with a real-time trigger, but in this case, we're looking at it in relationship to the current time. So if I want to make a trigger that only runs if it's after noon, I can come in here, leave my year, month, date, and day name all checked, select noon, zero, and zero for minute and second, and hit OK. If I want to change this to say before noon, all I have to do is hit before. If I only want it to run on weekends, I can come in here, edit this, add in all of my hours and minutes, and remove everything except for Saturday and Sunday. If I hit OK and now change this to equal, it will only trigger when those conditions are met, in this case, Saturday and Sunday. There are some occasions where it might be useful to use two real-time conditions within one trigger. For instance, if I only want my trigger to run between February 1st and July 2nd, I'll set my first condition as February 1st and change this to after. I'll then add a new real-time, which allows me to say July 2nd and set it to be before. These two will now work in conjunction together and will only allow the trigger to fire if both are true. Astronomical conditions function very similar to real time. You have the option to set two times of day and check whether or not you're between them. So for instance, I can say between sunrise and sunset, or sunrise, sunset, fixed time, start of civil dawn, start of civil dusk, start of nautical dawn, and end of nautical dusk. Remember, at any point, we could also negate this. So if I set something that is between sunrise and end of nautical dusk, and I want the opposite of that, I can simply deselect the negate. Once you've set both of these fields, you also have the option for offset. So if you need to check whether it's 15 minutes before sunrise, you can add in that option there. Remember, if you want before, use a negative number, like negative 15. Lastly, we have our lunar conditions. This allows you to choose a phase of the moon and check whether it's between that and another phase. So for instance, if my effect should only start when I'm in between the new and full moon, I'll set new as my first option and full as my second. Keeping in mind, I can negate this to get the opposite option.